right, my friends, welcome to Spooky Tales with Miss Tucker. Let's see who can give their best spooky Ready? One, two, three. Boys and girls, we're going to be reading a spooky tale called Underneath the Bed. How many of you guys have ever seen something underneath your bed? What did you see? Well, every time when I was falling asleep, I it was beside me. And I felt something just touching my hair oh every my time. It was a monster oh, under my room. I cannot believe bed. it. I cannot believe it. How many of you guys know you saw hands. something? It had red eyes. Did yours have red eyes? Tell me about it. What did you see? When I was sleeping one time, then a monster was on my fell on my bed and then got to eat me. Oh no. And red eyes. It's I, buddy D. And oh my goodness. Too. What was beneath your bed? Uh, it was a dog. It was a dog. How many of you guys you saw a dog and it had green eyes? Ooh. All right, my friends. Kids at school said the old house on the hill was full of ghosts. The kids dared me to visit the house. They dared me to visit at night. They dared me to visit every room. I begged my sister Beth to go with me. After I asked five times, she said, okay. Beth and I walked up to the house. The wind howled. Let's howl. Let's do it one more time. Beth said, John, I'm scared. Me too, I said. But if we don't do this, the kids at school will say we're scaredy cats. We walked up the porch steps. The wood moaned like it was warning us to stop. The house felt alive. I pushed open the door. We took deep breaths. Come on, I said, as we stepped inside. In the kitchen, dusty dishes sat on the table. In the living room, a sofa was covered with a sheet. In the library, a book sat open like it was waiting for a reader. There was only one room left to visit, the attic bedroom. Beth and I went up up, up. The bedroom was cold and damp and dark. I gasped. <gasps> Two tiny lights glowed beneath the bed. Beth grabbed my hand. Somebody please grab my hand. Who's gonna grab my hand? Thank you, you got my hand. Beth grabbed my hand. Those lights look like eyes, she whispered. A chain hung from the ceiling. My hand shook as I tugged it. Click, light filled the room. A doll sat beneath the bed. Beth giggled. They are eyes, she said. They are only small eyes painted on an old doll. So was it really a ghost? Yeah. No, it wasn't, thank you. No. Yes, it was just a doll. It was just a simple old plain looking doll. Let's keep reading. There are no ghosts in this house, I said smiling. That's right, the doll said. It's just the three of us. The doll started talking. And that, my friends, is the end of our spooky story titled Beneath the Bed. Let's give our story a round of applause. Who can raise their hand and tell me what was your favorite part of the story? The what was your favorite part? What about the doll? Because it wasn't scary at all. It wasn't scary at all. It wasn't even a ghost. It looked like how it was a boy. Uh-huh. What was your favorite part? You gotta be ready when Miss Tucker calls on you. You gotta know your answer. What was your favorite part, sweetheart? 
the attic when they had to go up in that creepy attic. One more, what was your favorite part? to go inside the house. How many of you guys would have been brave enough to go in the house? Yeah, me too.